Hello and welcome. I'm the Nameless Airsoft and this is episode two of Derpsoft. Today we are here at SC Village. This map is called SC Viper. And we are here, of course, with Houdini, my brother, uh, Honey Badger, St. Pinoy, and as well, Taz. So these, uh, this was actually quite a hot day, which I think kind of contributed to a lot of the problems. Um, a lot of the problems I refer to are that people were no calling. And uh, yeah, that kind of made it a little bit frustrating, but all in all, I still had a lot of fun. Um, of course, Viper is probably one of my favorite places because of all the buildings. <laughs> that guy right there, he made some, some funny panicking noises right there. Of course, that was a teammate, and he's right there. I'm going to invite him in. Kind of like panicked and ducked out. And so, yeah, basically, there were a lot of no calls. I'm going to get a guy here. He is, of course, no calling. Oh, there he goes. He actually called it. But, um, yeah, there were a lot of problems with people not calling. This was actually our first game of the day. It was only myself and St. Pinoy that went out. Everyone else was still getting their gear together, getting ready. So this is actually one of the first games of the day since we arrived fairly early. I mean, we always kind of arrive a little bit after everyone else. Gonna get a, gonna get a no call here. And yeah, so we arrive always a little bit late because uh, we're just, we're, you know, we're driving up from San Diego. It takes us a long time to get up there. Got a kill there from the guy behind the vehicle. And uh, right here, gonna get killed right at the end of the game I don't know why I called it that was the end right there but here's our second spawn once we flip sides and gonna get smacked right there in the open supposedly I had cover there and this uh, this is indicative right there at the center of the frame you can see a paintballer there kind of taking semi cover and he is absolutely getting lit up by someone else and he is no calling so I'm gonna shoot him twice and finally there he calls <laughs> that's kind of that's I mean that shouldn't have happened but yeah this was our second game and this is with the entire team honey badger Taz Houdini everybody's here and uh, this is at a place called Iraq. What's kind of cool is they got a few city buses here. One of the ones you see right there. Um, I try to stay out of there because they're really poor cover. But, uh, you know, I mean, you can go in there. They're absolutely drenched in paint, as you can see. So, obviously, this is kind of not a preferable place for airsofters. You know, and here was really where the no calls got out of control. Right there is honey badger and we're gonna try to stick with him right now but uh, yeah it was this was really bad right here here he's, he's just bounding up trying to get from cover to cover trying to close distance with people I get pinned down into this little firefight with this guy here in the window who of course is no calling once again I'm gonna call a kill here because I know I got him I saw him like ducking in and out of the window there and then finally I just see one of my BBs connect into him um, but of course he doesn't call and then eventually he's joined by another buddy who may be calling, maybe not, I'm not really sure. But um, yeah, so we're gonna, we're pretty much pinned down here. And then I start seeing people moving here on our left side. I, once again, I'm calling a kill here because I know I got this guy. But as you see, he just sort of walks away like he pretends like nothing happened, nothing's wrong. And uh, yeah, so there's there's gonna be a bunch of these on this one. Uh, Houdini actually got kind of frustrated with this and started talking to the refs about it. You know, like this guy here, I can understand, I miss him. You know, even though, you know, even though it might be a no call, I might have got him, but I don't know. So right there, he calls his hit because you know he's a good player. But uh, yeah, we just had consistent problems with people just not calling their hits. And here you can see Houdini up there, trying to trying to bound up as well. Here we're moving up on that left side. I'm 
gonna see a guy here in the window I'm gonna try to get him and of course I move up to try to get a better position and I get absolutely lit up right there this is our third well my third and final spawn as you can kind of tell I like to to move around try to close distance because if people aren't calling the best way to solve that is just to be able to get consistent hits on them and force them to call but uh, of course you need to be a little bit closer to do that and so here I'm really trying to bound up and then something something actually happens here which kind of gets uh, gets under my skin a little bit I'm gonna bound up right here to this truck and then I'm gonna move to this left side here once Houdini finishes crashing into the truck there I'm gonna move up and I'm gonna see a guy hit him and he's just gonna duck I call the hit for him because uh, after all he got hit and he's joined by I think two more people there and I'm caught reloading and I see this guy right there and of course I get hit right then so one of the cool things about this place SE Village is that there are just a ton a ton of maps most of them are devoted purely to paintball but every so often they will allow some of the airsofters onto some of the paintball fields and the one we're going to is Vietnam and of course it's way out there I mean just probably a quarter mile walk just to get there the one uh, in front of me here is Houdini and you can see everyone else is moving up it was just Houdini and I initially and then I saw everyone else kind of come up here I kind of panned around to see how many people were coming it was a massive amount of people that were going over there to Vietnam because it's it's rare I mean in a day you know probably there for seven hours you only will go there once as an airsofter and in fact when we were sitting out there you know all the paintballers were looking at us kind of funny like what are you doing here so but it was actually kind of nice to, to get a chance to go out there wasn't too bad wasn't too dirty which is usually one of the problems with playing on paintball fields and of course here we all get together to take a little picture you know little uh, team photo there and there's the photo I decided to include it uh, right here just to show you what it looked like And of course, this is Vietnam, right here. I'm not. I'm not sure if this is South or North Vietnam. Houdini was telling me this is North Vietnam, so I'd just go with that. It was cool nonetheless, but I didn't do too well here. I didn't get any kills. I got killed quite a bit. I ran into the the respawn limit on both uh, games that were here. And there's uh, Honey Badger right there, and Taz up there on the right. There's St. Panoy. And you can see Honey Badger once again bounding up in front of the team there. And we're just trying to get a better position so that uh, you know we can get those calls. And of course on this game I'm using the 416, my classic army 416. Um, most of the games up to this point I was using, well all the games I was using the um, Echo 1 M16A4. And of course I came in here thinking this was pretty good cover, got lots of windows, but um, you know, I just want to keep moving up, I want to be able to kind of see where the targets are at, where people are moving. I shoot at this guy, but I notice that my bullets are dropping just way too short of them. This isn't an issue of, you know, is there a call or no call, this is simply just the fact that they're just too far for this gun. I never saw that guy over there on that left taking position behind that hill. And that's going to become important in just a second here when he shoots me as I'm coming out here. But I really thought the concept of this um, this map was really cool. The fact that uh, you know that you had all these buildings on one side and on the other side you had all these mounds. Now I don't show any footage from the other side, but believe me, it is quite difficult to try and bound up from that side because there's just not enough cover I mean you can see all the people there in the dead box over there on the right just hiding and that's pretty much all we're gonna show from Vietnam and we're back here at Viper which is of course a dedicated airsoft map which is nice it's nice and clean 
and uh, this was the second to last game there was only one respawn in this one so you kind of had to be careful and of course you can see people shooting over my head there from the hospital and um, so yeah the person I'm actually in a firefight there with I don't hit him but I'm in a firefight with actually Houdini my brother he was on the enemy team there and this is the last game and this one's honestly the one where everyone kind of had a lot of fun it was unlimited response I believe for both teams no objective just you know run and gun have fun so it um, it was just a very nice ga set of games there unfortunately this is at the end of the day when I'm just I'm tired um, one of my mags went down and I was pretty much uh, I pretty much just given up on trying to get kills at this point you know which is ironic because I think in this set of games is where I got the most kills I can see people here and of course now people are calling their hits you see that one guy there call his hit the two guys back there I saw one of them call their hit and the other uh, the other kind of didn't he just ducked behind cover again but I knew I could get him which is why I say you know I got the kill there because he was hiding now I don't call any of these because well they um you know it's kind of difficult to see whether you hit them or not take a position behind this and this turns out to be fairly poor cover here you can see the rounds bouncing off the uh, off the spool there and of course I see a guy peeking around the corner there and the ref gets in the way and I'm gonna get hit by him there's Houdini in front of me and uh, we're gonna come up here into the, I believe this is the hospital I'm not really sure and um, yeah so we're gonna try to see if we can observe the positions here a little bit and you can see moving really really slowly you know once again it was really hot people were kinda getting tired it was the end of the day as well so you know the exhaustion was sort of understandable Houdini got hit there called himself out and I'm in a little bit of a firefight with these people peeking around the corner here and of course I'm gonna hit a few of them in just a second well I'm gonna hit one not a few there he is and once again you know it's difficult to say whether at this distance I hit them or they know called you can just see a massive amount of people there moving up there one of them gets a little brave and gets hit and I get just absolutely lit up So I'd like to say thanks for watching. Once again, this has been the Nameless Airsoft. And if you like the video, please comment, please like, please fave, please subscribe. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.